welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video we're closing out the second week of august and opening up the third week very exciting so without further ado let's just begin as usual we're gonna do uh with the expenses so i'm gonna go through them and write the totals we had 45 44 for groceries 20 in spending 50 in dine out 30 in birthdays i bought my dad a cake 61 34 in utilities for july 150 in health i had a big um, nutrition specialist uh, charge that i was going through like a course in the span of a month so i paid for that and then um 4471 miscellaneous i bought like a blender and stuff uh, for my house i'm also going to ikea tomorrow so i'll probably add more expenses and uh, next week and also 18 in gifts because i bought like a going away present for one of my colleagues and in total that was 419 euros and 49 cents for the second week of august so it's been very hectic at work uh, trying to learn everything um in my new position and just trying to get a feel of everything so yeah excited for that and um, a couple of uh, more uh, busy weeks coming up ahead and then it should probably calm down maybe sometime in october we'll see i'll let you know so this week we had a 620 euro budget to work with and in groceries let's see if we have any rollover we have one two three and four in groceries and nothing in spending on dine out so basically that means 46 was spent in groceries 20 in spending and 50 in dine out and we will add these four into miscellaneous so let's do that quickly i'm gonna also note it down because otherwise i'm gonna forget plus four we have 186 now we should have 186 so 150 70 80 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 indeed so 186 in there perfect so gas got five hundred went into rent 20 in utilities we put five in miscellaneous plus the four that we just uh put in there so that's nine and 16 one month ahead my window is open so sorry if you hear any sounds um 310 so it's 620 minus 310 is 310 so the actual amount in short-term sinking funds all stayed the same let me move this we won't need this anymore so stay the same we put 40 in beauty 20 in christmas and 10 in clothing 40 in health 5 in holidays 10 in subscriptions and 30 in travel so 40 plus 20 plus 10 plus 45 plus 40 is 155 so 310 minus 155 is 155 we're bringing that down to long-term sinking funds we put five into babies and five into car 50 in deposit five into pets 10 in retirement and five in technology and weddings each um so that was wait five plus five plus 50 plus five plus 10 plus 10 is 85 perfect so 155 minus 85 we had 70 left to work with and we did put that 70 into our savings challenges so everything is correct with the actual amounts for week two and now let's set up week three so week three we have a budget of 650 euros as i do have a new job i can now allocate a little bit more uh, in my funds which is great because it will help me allow to build my savings goals faster and just you know have more money to play with um 50 is going into groceries 20 in spending and 50 in dine out we're adding five to gas 80 in rent and 30 in utilities i will add also five into miscellaneous and 75 into one month ahead so for bills and cash envelopes we are adding 315 in total so 650 minus 315 is 335 euros 
we're bringing that 335 up to short-term sinking funds. We're going to put 40 into beauty, 20 into Christmas. We're not stuffing birthdays anymore this year because they're fully funded. We're putting 10 into clothing. We're adding 40 into health, five in holidays, 10 in subscriptions, and 40 into travel. So for short-term sinking funds in total, that's going to be 165 euros. So 335 minus 165 is 170. We're bringing that down to long-term sinking funds. We're putting five into babies and five into car. We're putting 50 in deposit, five in pets, five in retirement, five in technolo technology, and five into weddings. So that's 10 plus 50 plus 20 is 80 euros for long-term sinking funds. So 170 minus 80 is 90 euros. And those 90 are all going to our savings challenges, which is super exciting, which means 90 euros in total. Leftover is zero, which means that each year of our income has a place to go into our budget. And that's what I like to see because I'm a zero based budgeter. I all of the income I have, I allocate across my funds accordingly. So that was all for today's uh, video. That was the weekly setup for week three of August. Already week three. It's crazy. But yes, I will be back tomorrow with a cash stuffing of this paycheck. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Other than that, I wish I were you a wonderful day, morning, evening, wherever you are. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.